In this video, I'm going to show you an all-in-one tool for keeping all of your software up to date and for installing cool new software. So let's get started. What's up everybody? It's Eddie Z here from Easy Trading Computers and you're watching Trading Computer Secrets. Okay, so the name of this tool is called Patch My PC. So to download Patch My PC, just open your favorite browser, in my case Google, uh, Google Chrome, and type in Patch My PC, and you'll go to patchmypc.com. Just click here, and then go ahead and download Patch My PC. So your download dialog box should c come up. Just click Save. If you're using uh, Chrome, it'll show up down here. If you're using Firefox, it'll show up up here. But just go ahead and run the program. The program doesn't even have to go through an installation process. It's a portable program, which makes it automatically run right on your desktop. And it's already installed. So it looks a little complicated at first. But the first thing this program does is it looks at all the software that you have on your computer and then sees what version it's running and sees if it's up to date. So all the programs I have here in red are programs on my computer that are not up to date. All the programs I have in green are programs that are on my computer that are up to date and that are installed. So what this program will do is update all my programs that are out of date or an older version. So that's the first thing that it does. Now I'm not going to do that just yet. The first thing I want to do is before I do anything is I want to click here to options because I think this is important to do. Go ahead and click options and we want to create a restore point before we update anything. It's very important to create a, rest a restore point. If anything goes wrong during the update process, we want to make sure we have a restore point on our computer that we can restore the computer back to where it was before we ran the program. And it's just kind of a safety feature. So I've went ahead and checked off create restore point. There are other features and other options on here that you can go through at your own leisure. This is the most important point. So let's go back to apps. So here are all the apps I'm going to update. Here are all the apps and programs that are already up to date. Now the cool thing about this program is that I can now look through the list of 300 apps that they have in this list here on the left and I can add any programs. I, in other words, I can install any of these free programs that I might want to have on my computer. And the coolest thing is that it's going to install these programs all at once. I don't have to go to every website and then download it and then install it and then run the installer. This is going to do everything at once. So I'm just going to go through uh, the list on the left here. I'm going to go through my own favorites, OK? Uh, feel free to use whatever you want. Just be careful that you know what you're installing. The ones I'm going to mention in this video are ones that I know I've used and I liked. I know them and trust them. So plugins and runtimes. Um, the ones I have here, I have the Adobe Flash Player. Uh, so these two you might want to have on your computer. Microsoft.NET Framework you should already have on your computer. Silverlight is not really used by programs too much anymore, so don't worry about that one. When it comes to browsers, I happen to like Brave. I don't have it on this particular machine, so I'm going to add Brave. Brave is a browser that allows you to search the web privately. It's a pretty cool new browser. I should probably make a video just on Brave alone because it does let you search the web privately. It's one of the, the newer ones. Uh, let's see, I already have Chrome. My Firefox is out of date, so it's in red. It's going to update that. 
Opera is some uh, is a browsing program. It's a browser. A lot of people like it. Uh, feel free to use it if you wish. Let's come down here to multimedia. So if you use Amazon Music, uh, I have it on my phone. I'm not going to put it on this machine. Audacity is an audio editing program. I happen to use it, and I don't have it on this machine. So I'm going to add it to this machine. Here's iTunes. If you like iTunes, I'm not really an Apple person. Another program that I like very much is called the VLC Media Player. It's probably the best media player out there. I believe it's better than the Microsoft um, Windows Media Player, whatever they call it, whatever the newest version is. So you might want to put the VLC Media Player on your machine. Again, that's another one I might make a video about. Nice, a nice uh, media player. This program for under File Archivers, WinRAR 5.9. WinRAR is a program that if anyone ever sends you a zipped folder or a zip file, it will help unzip that file. So that's a program you're going to want to have on your machine. So download that if you can. Let's come down here under Utilities, CCleaner. I've already made a video about this. This is going to update my C cleaner. My uh, C cleaner is out of date, so you might want to update your C cleaner or go ahead and install C cleaner. Greenshot, I've never used, but somebody told me about it recently. I've never even tried it, but what I understand is that it is an image capture program or screenshot capture program, so it might be something you want to install. Maybe check that out on its own first. So coming down here, I'm not familiar with any of these other programs. Hardware tools. Let's expand that. Core Temp. This is a very important program. I would recommend you install this. This is going to tell you the temperature of your processors. So that's very important. It's going to check different temperature points inside your computer. It's, it's a nice little utility you want to have on your machine. This one's called CPU ID. This is also an important program to have because it will tell you what processors in your machine. Now let's look at documents. The reason I put documents, here's Adobe Acrobat reader DC. This is an Adobe program. You definitely want that on there. Uh, if you don't have Microsoft Office, a lot of people use either LibreOffice or OpenOffice. I personally have Microsoft Office, so uh, here OpenOffice is very good. Very, very similar to Microsoft Office, and it's free, so you can download that. Under Media Tools, let's see here. Handbrake is a program that I use. This will, uh, this is a video program that allows you to change file formats. It's a little bit technical, but it's useful to me since I make a lot of videos. Coming down here to Messaging, um, Discord is a program some people use. I don't. Uh, Mozilla Thunderbird is an email client you might want to try. I use Skype. Uh, Skype is a, a program that I use and it wants to update it to the latest version. WhatsApp a lot of people use. I'm not really a WhatsApp user. Let's see. Developer. There's probably nothing here I would use, but if you're a developer, you might want to take a look here under here, under Developer Tools. Sharing. Dropbox is my favorite file sharing or cloud file program. Uh, iCloud a lot of people use. I'm not really an Apple person. I don't use iCloud. I do recommend Dropbox. Uh, Team Viewer is a program. Now, if you own an easy trading computer, you should already have the easy trading Team Viewer applet. So here is the Easy Trading Team Viewer applet right here. It says Easy Trading Team Viewer. And if you just click on it, it will open and it looks just like this. 
um, in case you ever need to call our tech support remember you have lifetime tech support and we can log into your computer with this applet so there's really no reason for you to update uh, team viewer or to install it if you have the applet and you're using an easy trading computer under graphics uh, actually fast stone image viewer is a pretty cool photo viewer and editor you can edit photos with fast tone image viewer I've used it before uh, GIMP is also an editing program some people think it is a alternative to Photoshop but uh, I find it a little cumbersome to, to use feel free to use it give it a try if you want security you already have Windows Defender on your machine, so I wouldn't use any of these except for Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is a really cool program. I do have another video on Malwarebytes. If you haven't seen it yet, you will see it soon. None of these others I really think are that important. Under Miscellaneous, Google Earth Pro uh, is, can be a fun program. Under gaming, under gaming, I, I'm not really a gamer personally. I think <laughs> the stock market certainly provides enough of uh, entertainment in terms of uh, video gaming for me. So um, NVIDIA has this physics built into the, um, it's built into the driver of the video card. It came pre-installed uh, in the driver. I'm gonna just let it update on its own so I'm not really going to touch it. Not that I do anything special with that. Portable apps. And by the way, if you hover over these, uh, you do get some instructions on what these are. But under portable apps, let's take a look here. Is there anything here that I use or that I'm familiar with? C Cleaner, one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Specky is a program that I think everybody should have on their computer and I've made another video about this program. I'm going to install that on this machine as well. The Tor browser is another way for you to browse privately but currently I think Brave is a little bit better and easier to use so I'm going to skip Tor. Before I go ahead and perform my updates and my installations, I want to show you some other features of this program. I have an uninstaller. This is a really fast way to uninstall programs that you might not want. So if you just click uninstaller, all the programs on your machine will come up and uh, any ones you know you don't use, you can go ahead and install them from here. Very simple to do. Scheduler is a very cool part of this program because this allows this program will automatically run and update your software on a schedule that you tell it once every two weeks, once a week, once every 20 days, once a month. If your computer is off, it will run at, uh, it will run as soon as possible when you turn it back on, what time of day to run. So there are other really cool things you can do with the program, uh, including scheduling, uninstalling, and then of course you can go through these options. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to perform all my updates and all my installations. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to click down here, perform 16 updates. So it's doing its thing. It's downloading Brave. It's installing Brave silently, which means it's not asking me a bunch of questions. Another cool thing is some of these programs, if you've ever downloaded programs before, sometimes these free programs will download bloatware or additional crap that you didn't ask for. And we're not going to do that. So that's really neat. So now I'm downloading Firefox, Audacity. Okay, so now I've now updated all my apps and I'm all set. I have my new apps and I'm very excited.
So that is the tool known as Patch My PC. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and download our complete guide to trading computers by clicking the link below. This guide is jam-packed with great tips so you can totally optimize your trading experience. My name's Eddie Z, and I'll see you in the very next video.